Hi, this is Dorothy with Dot Scrapbooking, and I am going to do two card challenges, uh, a color challenge and the Atlantic Card Sketch 444 um, Slimline Card Challenge. The colors I'm using are Sundance, Sage, and Papaya. So that's from the Color My Heart Color Dare Challenge. So I'm using a Slimline card, which the measurements are three and a half by eight and a half. And I went ahead and cut the pieces. So this is a piece of sage and the uh, original color, not the lighter version, is going as the background. And then this is Sundance and I'm going to use the lighter side of Sundance. And what I've kind of decided to do, because a little bit of the white edge is showing, you can use your paper trimmer, trimmer to cut that off, but what you can also do is use a little distressing ink. So I'm using a toffee and I'm just using a sponge to, to give kind of a light edge. It kind of goes with the kind of outdoorsy autumn pumpkin uh, theme that I'm doing here. So, you know, it's just kind of consistent with with uh, the whole outdoor feel. So I'm doing the edge for the Sundance uh, with the same toffee. You can use a sponge or you can actually just run the edge of the paper over the uh, ink pad and get a different kind of a distressed look. So I cut the Sundance a half an inch shorter all around so that I'd get a quarter of an inch going all around. So that is three by eight. Now I have a thankful um, die cut that is a really beautiful font and I went ahead I wanted some dimension to it uh, and so I cut several pieces of white cardstock using the thankful die cut and I am going to stack these just to add a thickness and a dimension to uh, the front sentiment. So I'm using just a little bit of Tombow and just kind of dotting around the edges. And uh, because the letters are so thin, you know, it's a little, a little bit might pop over the edge, but you can either wipe it or it will dry clear. Um, whatever you want to do here. And so I'm going to go ahead and change pieces of paper because I'm getting uh, too much ink, I mean uh, glue on the edge. So I went ahead and daubed some of the excess ink off of the front and sides with my scrap paper. I use a lot of scrap paper. You could use, uh, which I have and didn't pull it out, my crafting rollout uh, material that you can just wipe clean and uh, you don't go through so much the scrap paper. But I get all these pads in the mail and just decided to this is a good place to use them. So I'm using my little pointy tool here to, it's actually used for um, a scribing tool where you can kind of make your own fold if you run your cardstock uh, over your your um, indented part of the your cutter and then run that rounded tip through but I'm using it to kind of scooch the letters so that they are completely on top of each other and then I'm adding my sage final thankful die cut and moving moving it to try to make sure that the least amount of white is showing through preferably none but it's pretty it's pretty good that you can kind of scooch things around enough that uh you know since the glue takes a little while to to dry then you can kind of move things around so i'm just going to set it aside to dry this is the um, a World with Octobers. So it says, I'm so glad I live in a world where there are Octobers. 
and pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes and autumn is reminds you that change can be beautiful and so uh, I went ahead and die cut the stamps the uh, pumpkins that um, I have a die cut set that goes with this stamp set so I I cut a bunch of pumpkins out um, on my die cutter and they and the leaves I'm using I cut them in sage and so I use them as a little bit of contrast to go behind the uh, Sundance pumpkins that are on top of the Sundance background so you want a little contrast there so I am going to add the detail to the pumpkins with the stamp and it, it's fairly easy to match up the stamp to the die cuts there's only one that's a little hard to figure out which way to to point it so I'm using the toffee ink to add the detail mostly because I want that stem to be in brown so there that that looks I, that actually looks uh, a little bit stronger than toffee it might be espresso I went between espresso and and toffee and this cute little pumpkin is the Sundance pumpkin and I'm gonna I'm just gonna use the sage um, I wanted a little green in there and I decided to use the sage on the Sundance sage ink on Sundance so there's my little pumpkin and there's the bigger pumpkin that was cut out in papaya and so I try to remember to clean off my stamp and and put it back so it doesn't get lost because they they can get lost on my table they'll get stuck to my stamp pad and I'll be looking forever trying to find it so um, the next one I'm going to do is this papaya and I am using the uh, darker espresso and you can really tell the difference so the first one I did was in toffee and I really kind of like the way the espresso looks it the detail really jumps out at you and so I decided to use that on the next pumpkin so if you kind of like the way the the stronger detail looks then then I would use a darker like the espresso so this is the only one that gave me a little bit of trouble trying to figure out how to how to um, maneuver it but once you kind of get a flat a longer flat surface there then you can match it up so it just takes a little doing so you always want to season and do a test stamp before and do a little two to three second press on your stamp to get it into the cardstock and then I am going to use the sage ink to add the detail to my little leaves so this is a longer one kind of straight and I'm gonna kind of put that towards the bottom so I'm kind of figuring out how I want these pumpkins to go uh, to look good on the the darker um, Sundance background so I'm gonna go ahead and stamp all the leaves because I'll be making I've got enough pumpkins left over that I'll be making another card which I'll also make a video of so I have several curved uh, leaves there I kind of made a bunch of of all the the die cuts because it's like you know when you're there it's just so much easier to to do a bunch at one time so there's one and then I'm gonna do the second one I do like these curved ones put the one away and then I'll do the curve that's going in the opposite direction so if you can't just flip them over because the the uh, stamp won't match up so they gave you two uh, curved one going in one direction one going in the other direction 
with a stamp for both of those. They're, they're essentially the same, just um, opposite, flipped over. So there I've got my little stamps that I'm putting back on the carrier sheet. And yeah, I have a tendency to put them on the front instead of the back. So I've got two more leaves here that I'm going to go ahead and stamp. Really shouldn't have taken the time up in this video, but you know, it's this is a faster way of doing things to just go ahead and, you know, get a few things stamped out of the way while you're while you're at it. Um, I haven't really decided what I'm going to do yet with the pumpkins, but I don't know how many leaves I'm going to use, so we'll see. We have real pretty paper. Now, this is the very end of this catalog. The catalog, this seasonal catalog, comes to an end October 31st. Whatever isn't sold will continue to be on the uh, available list, um, but it may run out at any time. So I'm just kind of placing some leaves around to kind of give a, yeah. So I've got enough of the leaves, I think, to kind of make the pumpkin stand out from the background. So if you don't put your stamps away too, you can get in trouble by running your cards over <laughs> over the stamps, which I've also done. So I try to remember to put my things away. So these pumpkins reminded me that I, I made some squash soup. So if you look up on Google, there's an autumn squash soup and they have copycat recipe from Panera Bread. And it's really a good recipe. Uh, but I used pumpkins and some pumpkin... Um, puree and a butternut squash pumpkin and acorn uh, squash to a butternut squash and an acorn squash and pureed pumpkin to make my soup that came out really, really good. I added some uh, Greek yogurt to it to make it creamy, but not overly fattening so. There's no heavy cream in it. I didn't put any, uh, some of the recipes called for heavy cream. I chose to not add the heavy cream to it. So depending on how I had these leaves, I'm just kind of scooching in a little bit <clears throat> so you can get some better detail. And I'm putting, I put the leaves flat against the Sundance cardstock, but the pumpkins I'm going to pop up. So I'm using my little foam spots to uh, raise the pumpkins up. So it's always nice to add some dimension to whatever you're making, whether it's a scrapbook page or a card. You want to have a little dimension to add interest. So I'm adding the, uh, these are thin foam dots. Uh, you know, it's, it's not super tall. Now that pumpkin, I'm going to add the thicker foam tape to. So it kind of jumps up uh, beyond the other three pumpkins. So um, I'm just putting some tape there. And then adding, adding this pumpkin on top. So want to cover up the bottoms of the leaves. There we go. And then my thankful is going to go right in the empty space that I left for the thankful. So, so far, this is kind of a, I kind of like this card. And I do like this thankful. So it, you can see that there's a shadow there. So... You know, there's definitely some dimension. Now, these are the autumn loose sequins that are also in this catalog. And I'm just going to um, put some, sprinkle some around and then use my little tool here to move them. Ooh. 
That little pearl doesn't want to behave. So, but this little tool makes the moving the sequins around real easy. And the teensy little sequins um, I want to, I pulled up, I don't want to use them. But this is just enough to add a little bit of sparkle to, to the card. And so now that I kind of have them placed where I want them, then I'm going to use a little glue. So this, this is where I really love this tool. You pick the, the sequin up, and uh, it's just a little wax stick that you sharpen like a pencil. And it's got a paper going around it so it doesn't, you know, kind of stick to your finger. But it just makes putting the sequins down so easy. And you get like two in a package for like $5.95 or whatever. Um, but I really do like this little tool. So I decided I'm going to add because, you know, too much is not enough. I have to add some more sequins. And the sequins are always so full of static electricity. They can drive you nuts. But it sure, it sure helps to make putting down the sequins easier. So there's a little bit of sparkle. And uh, while they dry in place, I'm going to go ahead and add my um, little design on the back of the card. This is my little hallmark thing. And really, when I think about it, there I have a uh, stamp that said, Made Especially for You. I do like to use something that goes along with what I'm doing, but I kind of want people to know that I make cards especially for them too. So I added a pumpkin in paprika, and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and add my pumpkins on, on the uh, envelope, because I like to decorate my envelope too. And so um, I'm adding a paprika pumpkin and changed my pumpkins and I'm adding a sage pumpkin. Change that pumpkin. And uh, I'm going to add a Sundance pumpkin. And it takes up, you know, some space, but you know, on the slimline card, you have a whole ton of space for the address. So you really don't have to worry about that too much if you make a big design on your uh, envelope. So I'm just going to put my my uh, some of my inks away, and I was letting the sequins dry in place, and so now I'm going to stamp the inside of the card. And I wanted to use this, um, and I'm going to use... Uh, the uh, papaya to go with the uh, cardstock, the cardstock pumpkins. And this is a great stamp. It just stamps beautifully. It's got some thick uh, letters and it's autumn, the season that teaches us that change can be beautiful. I mean, what a beautiful saying that is. And for those of us who have a hard time with change, <laughs> we needed to be reminded every so often. So here is my card and my envelope. And um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And, you know, if you like my card, give me a thumbs up. If you think I'm crazy, give me a thumbs up. Anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Bye now.